Yeah, right, guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. So today we're heading off on a uh, another little adventure, not too far this time. We're just going across to uh, Coolman, which is about 45 minutes from here. We'll stay the night there, and then we will. Uh, well, while we're in uh, Coolman, we'll go. The, we're going to go to the uh, RSL club or the bowling club there, or the golf club. I don't know what it is. Down in the, down in, down near the end of the uh, caravan park there. Uh, we're going to have a feed of Chinese, and then from there we're going to go to Marul via Ardleton. So we'll stay in Ardleton for the night, and apparently it's pretty cheap power there. It's twelve. It's uh, two dollars for twelve hours. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then once we go from there, we're going to go to Marul, and then we're going to have a go at the uh, the Marul Silo Kick. Not that we'll all get it over there, anywhere close to it, but we'll give it a go. And there's also a pub there, so we're going to be doing a fair bit of drinking the next couple of days, but. It's all for quality and control purposes, and uh, that's all it is. But anyway, we'll get these crew on the uh, on the go, and uh, we'll uh, head get going. A few moments later. What are you doing, Dagger? Just having a coke and fork. Ah, jeez. Nice. So is that lunch? Yeah. I if I could eat ten. Bottle of coke and some snakes. What are you doing, Ryan? Not much. Not much. What's George doing? He's a bit, he wants to go wandering, does he? Yeah. He's got his big lead. He's got his 10 metre lead. Look at him hooked up to the fence here. So I've just got onto sites 13 and 14. So what in the corner here? There's a big, massive. These are big, massive sites. So pretty cool. So if you ever come, 13 and 14 is a go. So 13 is what we're on. So I was pretty much from the back of the van there, the side of the van, all the way across that tree and then mum dad on 14 so and then 12 is from our ute or our car there across the other line over there so camp kitchen up the back there haven't i haven't had, been out and had a look yet pretty busy this week and there's a uh, a caravan club here so i wouldn't expect it to be this busy all the time but um we got in so it's 30 bucks for the night i'll just go and confirm what was the snake? <laughs> what was the price, Pen? What, what? Sorry. What was the price? Thirty dollars. Doesn't matter if you got two kids or three kids. Thirty bucks. Thirty power bucks of water. power and water, and I think it was twenty-five unpowered or something. But anyway. No, I didn't check the unpowered. Anyway. But yeah, thirty dollars power and water. And it was really weird because we haven't had a well, we haven't been on powered sites for a long time, so I couldn't remember where all the stuff was for the hoses to hook up to it and all the fittings for it so as you know last couple of times I've been away it's been all free camp so a little bit about the park so as I said before uh, camp kitchen's there down through there is the food work so everything's in walking distance and back up that way a bit is the main street and that is the sports club just down there and apparently they do some pretty good Chinese. So we're going to go down there soonish. Um, well, yesterday was Anzac Day, so I had a few beers yesterday. So I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming good. Um, it's almost three o'clock. I might even crack one soon and uh, settle the nerves. morning so we just uh, got up not long ago I suppose and took George for a bit of a wander uh, a cup of tea time so then just having a first cup of for the morning and then we'll uh, we'll slowly get into it 
Slowly, that's for sure. Slowly get into it, so. Go, if you come to Cordon, make sure you go to the uh, Sport and Recreation Club, which is just near the Caravan Park. It's literally, what, 300 metres, three to 400 metres walk, easy walk. Um, beautiful Chinese. We had a heap of Chinese last night. We thought we had too much, but we ended up eating it all. And the beers were pretty good. They're only 550 for a uh, for a schooner. So Monday to Friday, they have happy hours from four to six. So if you get in there between there and then, you'll uh, get some cheaper beers. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, finish my cuppa and uh, get some brekkie to organise, and then we'll uh, head 45 minutes down the road to uh, Ardleton. We're on our way to uh, Hard Lethen, another big 45 minute drive, so it should be a nice and easy day, left at 10 o'clock, so we should be there by 10.45, then we'll set up and uh, have some lunch, what do you reckon? Sounds amazing. We need to get some dog wash because this car oh, stinks. Oh, Mr Giorgio here just decided to do our roll in something, didn't he? So, <laughs> um, anyway, we'll get that done. Caravan, Caravan Park is quite nice, decent amenities, um, nice big sites where we were on 13 and 14. Probably not as big as if you were in the middle there, um, but yeah, definitely well worth the 30 bucks for all of us for an overnighter. Probably could stay two nights and then go down the street and do the, uh, the um, fire museum down down the street there, and also they've got a, a cheese cheese factory sort of set up in the street there too so yeah you're in the heart of town really so yeah. everything's walking distance yeah. and yeah perfect little park value for money that's for sure especially when you've got a family <laughs> yeah it's 30 bucks for two adults and then they start throwing 10 or 15 bucks per kid on there that sort of adds up over time so yeah very happy to stay anyway we'll uh, head down the highway towards Ardleton Right, I just pulled up to uh, Lethen and this is the, uh, has to be the cheapest power I reckon. I'm going around Australia, two bucks for a 12 hour period. So just drop your coins straight in the top there. And then it, yeah, turns on. So we're on site eight and site eight is not working, of course. So we're just gonna have to chop and change with mum and dad. So they'll have the power for a bit and then uh, we'll have the power for a bit and we'll go from there. Right, this is a little camp set up. So you've got powered sites all the way along this fence here. And to the left you've got a railway line, so hopefully there's not too many bloody trains come through the night. And you've got a playground for kids. Um, I'm guessing there'd be yeah, barbecues over there. Nice little spot across the road, little communities, little shops over there. I think there's like a little IGA. Uh, more powered sites along this side, and then obviously a, sh a toilet block over there, no showers, so. Yeah, not bad for bloody two bucks for 12 hours. I'd say no to that. So we're just gonna, uh, we're all hooked up and we're just gonna go for a bit of wander across the uh, road and see what we can find. What do you got there, mate? Uh, a hot chocolate. Yeah, where'd you get that from? The, um... Was it the cafe down there? Yeah, cafe. Is it nice? Out of 10, what's it like? How many numbers out of 10? 10 out of like six, six. 10 out of seven. No, so 7 out of 10. And what has Ryan got? Uh, I had a coke. Yeah, but what do you got in your hand? Oh, yeah. Um, I got the dog baby wash. Because why? Because George stinks. He's been rolling in something. Stinks like shit. Don't you, George? Your mother just picked up a big box of scallops. So she's going to chuck a few in the air fryer. <laughs> oh, right. No, that'll be all right. <laughs> we got no chicken salt though, but anyway, a bit of plain salt won't hurt. So how was the shops? Anything of interest? Oh, it does the job. It's pretty just cool. the, just the essentials yeah, and just, basics? just the basics. That's yep. all you need, isn't it? That's right. First impressions? Of this camp spot? Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, you got to get here early. First in, best dress. Yeah. Because there's been a fair few caravans come in and drive straight back out. So we we're very lucky when we did arrive at what? 10.30? Yeah. yeah. So there's probably about 12 powered sites I reckon, but yeah. As Ben said, first in best dress for sure. What are you doing, George? What are you doing? Oh yes, you can smell the steak sangers, can't you? Look, look at that. Yum 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 yum. 
for the all season purpose steak spice a bit of oil what do you reckon Dagger? Are you keen for a steak sanger? yep a few flies here in there I got attacked by flies when I was on the chair. Alright, they were trying to fly you away, weren't you? Fly blown. One nearly got in my nose. Oh, yuck. Is he going in your nose? No, he was just still at me. <laughs> Yum. That is your chance to be rude. Hey, kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head. Tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for That was really good there in the left and beyond. So it was, uh, what was it, Ben? Five bucks an adult, and the family was ten bucks. ten bucks, and kids under 18 were free. So took dad in there, and he uh, yeah, brought back memories of his childhood. So I think he really enjoyed that. So, um, oh, he's just got a hat. He's been given a hat. He's happy now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Any good? Bargain. Done well. Two dollars. Two bucks. Oh, well, we might go for a wander down the main street now and see what else we can uh, find. But yeah, really, really good. going past the uh, the bowling club so it's open from Friday Saturday Sunday so Friday is 5 to 10 Saturday is 5 to 10 and Sunday is 4 to 4 to 8 and they've got food here as well it's open from 6 to 8 and uh, that's the uh, the menu so we'll be definitely coming back over here at 5 o'clock just to do some quality and control of the beer Hopefully it's as good as last night and it's, it's only 5.50 a scanner, but I'm not holding my breath. It's probably going to be more like the, to the typical 6.650, 6 I reckon. But anyway, we're going to head back, head him back to the van after we explore of the town. Uh, pretty cool, uh, Lethen, so... The next day. Right, oh, so we just had a uh, massive drive today. We did like, I think it's about 27 k's from uh, Lethen to Marul. So we've just pulled up here. We've got a... Couple of powered sites down here, so ten dollars a night for, or ten dollars per van per night. Uh, through there, the brown brick building is our uh, showers and toilets. And I think you've got to pay. It's like a donation to go there and have a, a shower, use the toilets. This is the Marul Silo kick that I have every year. I think it's the the second October, second weekend in October every year so they've had blokes like uh, Billy Brown let's come out here and send a torp over the top of that but yeah I think it's mainly just all local blokes that get into it we're just about to rock over here to the pub go and check it out it's very very soon and there's also a train over there loading up at the moment too so we'll go and scope it out as well but yeah other than that really good spot I said 10 bucks a night you can't beat that 
and last night how good was that two dollars per 12 hours so four dollars four dollars a night so can't beat that at all so there's not a lot here in Marul uh, pub there's a little playground there said so showers and toilets um, but other than that it's that's about it I'm guessing back in the day I might have been a little bit busier we're just going for a wander up here to the old church just check it out but I'll just quickly spin you around as you can see there's a few houses here but there's not a lot here really but yeah definitely come here if you're in the area in the rural area on the Newell Highway um, if you go that way I'm pretty sure it goes to West Wylong that's to the north and if you go that way it'll take you through to Naranda which is you know, on the south side I suppose There's all the uh, people that want it. So Billy Brown is 92. So I think other than that, it's mainly all the uh, the local footballers out this way, and also the silos that wanted a few times. So it doesn't look very far up there, but yeah, it'd be a decent kick. But if you want a smaller silo, here you go, right here. This is probably more my height. Kick over the top of that. I don't know what those silos would be. 100, 120 meters high, I'm guessing somewhere around that sort of height. I didn't even know this thing was here. Memories of Marul. Let's go in and have a look. This is very similar to the uh, Ard Lethen and Beyond yesterday, so just a smaller version. Pretty cool. Free. Happy with that. There, yeah, right, guys. So that's the uh, end of our four day little getaway. So, yeah, nice and close home. Didn't go too far. Coolum was really good. Uh, Ard Lethen, two bucks for 12 hours of power. Can't beat that. And uh, yeah, 10 bucks a night here at uh, Marul. So it's back home, back to reality for a, for a little while. Um, we're planning on another sort of a, a little smaller trip again. Uh, now past West Wyong again, with Alley, uh, towards Griffith in New South Wales. So, just stuff that's close at home. You don't have to go four hours, five hour drive to go and check out the uh, the place. So, um, yeah, that's that's the next plan. That's the next trip away. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the uh, the episode. Well, we certainly did. We uh, we probably overindulged in in the in the grog <laughs> too much. So, now it's our uh, time to uh, detox. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.